sometimes you might want to investigate what's going on on your network. And there are several ways how you can do that. But today we'll have a look at the use case of Torch Tool. I have opened two Winbox windows here. On the left, I have a gateway. And on the right, I have a device on my local network. And to simulate some traffic going on, I've started a band test. And I'm also pinging Google. The most simple way to get an insight of what's going on in my network is to just look at the interface list. And there I can see the current throughput. But that doesn't give me any much more detail of what exactly is going on there. So the other option would be to use Tool Sniffer. But if you've ever tried collecting um, packets, you know that there's a lot of data. And for most cases, it's not practical. It doesn't give you a quick insight. So you could do something like Sniffer Quick and specify the exact interface that you want to look at. Again, you get get, uh, get an idea if packets are being exchanged. But if there's any traffic going on, it's, uh, it's all whizzing past very quick. So a third option would be to use the torch tool. The minimum configuration before you start is just to pick the interface that you want to be looking at. So for me, it's ether one, I click start. And now I can see that there is a um, B test connection to port 2000. There's a Winbox connection over 8291. And there's also the ICMP ping going on. Besides that, there's these empty entries uh, without any protocol or source or destination address. And that is layer two stuff going on. These are just a couple of connections for one device. But there could be dozens of devices with dozens of connections each. And in that case, it would be very hard to distinguish uh, what is going on. It would be looking much more like sniffer quick where everything is just whizzing past and we, we can't examine anything. So that's why we have these filters. You could specify the source or destination address to look at a specific device, or you could specify the MAC protocol, the IP protocol, port, VLAN ID, or DSCP. So in this case, let's say I'm suspicious somebody is running a band test. So I could specify port 2000 and start it. And now I can see that yes, indeed, there is 10 megabits per second used over port 2000. Besides that, I can also see the ICMP going on and the layer two stuff. This is because if a port is not specified, it will be still showed even though there is a filter for a specific port. And that's about all you need to know to begin using the Torch tool. Thank you for watching.